Elon Musk is a busy, dynamic, and unstoppable man. When Musk is not busy trying to launch a new electric vehicle concept or developing a battery technology, he is busy running a company that intends to implant computer chips into the human brain. The company Elon Musk is using for its computer brain interface research is Neuralink. The company has been around since 2016. Although the company has been working quietly since it was launched, it has recently released some videos that have stirred the internet. So, what is this company all about? Let's take a look inside Elon Musk's Neuralink company and see what they're up to. Neuralink is a neurotech startup company developing an implantable brain machine interface. Elon Musk co-founded this company with half a dozen professors, researchers, and industry experts in 2016. With its headquarters in San Francisco, California, the company was launched in 2016 and first publicly reported in March of 2017. Since it started operating, the company has hired several high-profile neuroscientists from various universities. In 2019, the company received a startup capital of $158 million, of which $100 was from Musk. The company employed a staff of 90 employees. In 2017, Neuralink announced that it was working on a sewing machine-like device capable of implanting fragile threads of 4 to 6 micrometer in width into the brain and demonstrated a system that reads information from a laboratory rat through 1,500 electrodes. The company had anticipated starting experiments with humans in 2020, but has since moved that projection to 2021. Neuralink's technology is based around implanting electrodes into people's brain tissue through ultra-thin threads which could be connected to chips and wires placed underneath the skin of the head. Those chips would then be linked to a removable pod that would sit behind the ears and connects wirelessly with other devices. This would allow for information from the brain to be fed back directly to smartphones or computers, and would mean that humans could control these devices using thoughts and emotions. The technology could make it possible for people to communicate through their brains in the future, essentially telepathy. Neuralink's ambitions are enormous with this technology. It has stated three goals, treating brain disorders and helping people who had accidents, creating a brain machine interface, and building towards a potential symbiosis with artificial intelligence. The first of those goals is the most realistic in the short term, to create brain machine interfaces that enable your mind to interface with external processing power directly. It sounds like a science fiction concept, but the logic is sound. While launching the company, Musk said that the technology isn't just a measure of computerizing your brain, but potentially fixing complex neurological problems. He said that there are an incredible amount of things that technology can do to solve brain disorders and damage. Apart from the brain interface technology, the company also hopes that Neuralink will be able to achieve a symbiosis with artificial intelligence. The most basic of which is that artificial intelligence will become so advanced that it matches or surpasses human intelligence, leaving humans behind. But assuming that this happens as Musk believes, achieving that symbiosis could be crucial at a civilization level scale. If humans can create a high bandwidth brain machine interface, then we might stand a chance of keeping up. Several neuroscientists and publications, including the MIT Technology Review, have criticized some claims made by Musk concerning the technology. In contrast, others have praised the technology as an advancement in neuroscience research. Although Neuralink remained highly secretive about its work, the Neuralink team revealed to the public the technology of the prototype they had been working on. It is a system that involves ultra-thin probes that will be inserted into the brain, a neurosurgical robot that will perform the operations, and a high-density electronic system capable of processing information from neurons. The probes consist mainly of polymide, a biocompatible material with a thin gold or platinum conductor, inserted into the brain through an automated process, performed by the company's surgical robot. Each probe consists of flexible wires that contain electrodes capable of locating electrical signals in the brain, and a sensory area where the wires interact with the electronic system that allows amplification and acquisition of the brain signal. Each probe contains 46 or 96 wires, each containing 32 independent electrodes, making a system of up to 3,072 electrodes per formation. This flexible wire is a significant advance in technology, as they are less likely to damage the brain than the materials currently used in brain-machine interfaces. These wires also create the possibility of transferring a higher volume of data. The threads are 4 to 6 micrometer in width, which makes them considerably thinner than human hair. In addition to developing flexible threads, Neuralink's other prominent advance is the surgical robot that automatically embeds them. 
The surgical robot Neuralink developed can rapidly insert many flexible probes into the brain, which may avoid the problems of tissue damage and longevity associated with larger and more rigid probes. The Neuralink robot has an insertion head with a 40 micrometer diameter needle made of tungsten rhinium designed to attach the insertion loops, transport and insert individual probes, and penetrate the meninges and cerebral tissue. The surgical robot is capable of inserting up to 6 probes per minute. In 2020, Neuralink obtained an FDA breakthrough device designation, which allows limited human testing under the FDA guidelines for medical device only. Also, three of the eight founding scientists remained at the company because of internal conflict in which rushed timelines have clashed with science's slow and incremental pace. This same year, Neuralink started revealing its technology for the world to see through a video. Neuralink unveiled a pig called Gertrude with a thin gold computer chip in her brain to demonstrate his plans to create a working brain-to-machine interface. Gertrude was one of the three company's pigs that took part in the research video. She took a while getting going with the experiment, but when she ate and sniffed straw, the activity in its brain showed up on a graph, tracking her neural activity. She then mostly ignored all the attention around her. The processor in her brain sends wireless signals, indicating neural activity in her snout when looking for food. The pig is said to have had the implant for two months before the video. The implant Neuralink is testing on its pig has 1,000 channels and is likely to read from similar numbers of neurons. The company said its goal is to increase that by a factor of 100, then 1,000, then 10,000, to read more completely from the brain. Also, it is said that the original Neuralink device, revealed in 2019, had been simplified and made smaller, so now it fits quite nicely in the skull. And it could even be under the hair and you wouldn't know. The Neuralink chips, which is 0.9 inches, was described by Musk as a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Musk revealed that the company's three pigs have two implants each, including Gertrude. It is said that the pigs were healthy, happy, and indistinguishable from a normal pig. Neuralink's moved from using pigs to monkeys to demonstrate the brain chip technology better. The company posted a video to YouTube which shows a monkey navigating an on-screen cursor only using its mind. The nine-year-old macaque monkey named Pager had a Neuralink implanted in his brain about six weeks before the video was recorded. Pager was first taught to play the video games using a joystick for a banana smoothie reward delivered through a metal straw. While he was doing this, the Neuralink device recorded information about which neurons were firing to control the movement and learning, essentially to predict hand movements by recording which regions fired. After learning the patterns, the joystick was disconnected from the computer, and the monkey continued to play the game only using its mind. From the technology demonstrated with the monkey, the company has said that Neuralink might let a paralyzed person tweet faster than a person using their thumbs on a smartphone. Also, the technology might help people with paraplegia walk again by sending signals from Neuralinks in the brain to Neuralinks in major body neural clusters. The Neuralink chips can be charged wirelessly via an induction coil and Musk suggested that in the future, people would have to plug it in before they go to sleep to power up their implants. He also said that the implant would be easy to install and remove to get new ones as technology improves. This is thoughtful of Musk as you wouldn't want to be stuck with the version 1.0 of a brain implant forever. Outdated neural hardware left behind in people's bodies is a real problem, already encountered by researchers and research subjects alike. What do you think about this Neuralink technology? What do you think about the future of technology in the years to come? Let's hear your views or opinions via the comment section. Please do not subscribe unless you are into technology, because that is what this channel is about. Now, let's watch another fantastic video from our channel. I'll meet you there.